Hi, I'm Lance Dalek, Professor of Exercise and Sports Science at Western Colorado and also a member of the ACE Scientific Advisory Panel. In this month's issue of Certified, I've written an article on probably my favorite topic, which is training recovery. However, in this month's article, I'm looking at a different area of training recovery that I haven't done previously, and that's recovery considerations for older adults. In today's short video segment, I want to highlight two aspects of the article. First, if we're going to really do a good job with training recovery for our older adult clients, we need to appreciate the physiology of aging. As we get older, unfortunately, our fitness decreases. Cardiorespiratory fitness and muscular fitness. Uh, underpinning these decreases in fitness is a decrease in muscle mass. Uh, this is a phenomenon known as sarcopenia. Uh, aspects of sarcopenia that are associated with the decrease of muscle mass inc include uh, increased muscle damage. Uh, this is really driven by inflammation. And we also see a reduced ability to have protein synthesis take place. Uh, this is uh, going to result in decrease in muscle building. Uh, during recovery. And then we also see that our carbohydrate storage, which is referred to as muscle glycogen, that our ability to replenish muscle glycogen after exercise also decreases. So we really need to appreciate this physiology uh, and what's going on as we get older if we're going to do a good job with training recovery. So the second area I talk about in this article are what are some strategies that we can take given the physiology of aging uh, that's going to help our clients recover more quickly. And I just want to talk in the segment today generally about what I explore and that's that we probably need to pay more particular attention to uh, our recovery strategies with older adults um, and we need to take a holistic approach. Uh, so in the article I talk about things we can do from an exercise programming standpoint such as always doing active recovery instead of passive recovery. That's going to facilitate blood flow to our muscles and it's going to reduce inflammation, it's gonna get those waste products out of there and it's going to bring in important nutrients that's going to drive uh, muscle building and drive muscle glycogen replenishment. Uh, another great exercise programming consideration to be mindful of is that we oftentimes need to take longer between harder sessions. Research has shown, for example, that following high intensity interval training, which can be safely done in older adults, we need at least five days of recovery, which is a lot longer than uh, the younger adult counterparts. Other strategies that we can take include nutritional strategies. So paying particularly attention to after exercise uh, post-exercise our carbohydrate and our protein ingestion and I give you some specific strategies and uh, specific recommendations in the article and then a final consideration again being mindful of this holistic approach to training recovery is who doesn't like a massage uh, everyone likes a massage and research has shown that massage is great for recovery specifically for older adults uh, the final thought I want to leave you with is this, and that's research for older adults and recovery really remains understudied. And sometimes the research is great at telling us things, uh, but oftentimes we need to learn from people who are older adults themselves uh, and health and exercise professionals. And I one time, uh, several years ago, asked a, a pretty high level older lady uh, who was still completing ultra marathons in her 60s, what she did different for training and recovery. And she, so, she told me something really intriguing. She said, my training's really similar, except for I do the same amount of training in 16 weeks that I used to do in 12 weeks. And so there's really about a 25% more time that she was taking for recovery, but she was still doing a lot of the same things. And so I think that's really insightful uh, for us as, as health and exercise professionals. So as always, I hope you enjoy this article. Uh, good luck with your clients and we'll see you next time.